Hi, I'm Ryan Pamplin. I am the guy who runs partnerships uh, and sales for Meta. Ryan, what are you showing here with Meta at GDC? We are, for one of the very first times, showing people at GDC, developers uh, and potentially new partners, this incredibly immersive augmented reality, the most immersive on the planet, uh, with the highest resolution and the best image fidelity. It's called Meta 2, and it's finally available for pre-order on our website for only $9.49. So talk about the uh, how how this how augmented augmented reality works. Sure. So uh, augmented reality is a digital layer that exists on the real world, and the idea is to kill this paradigm of computing that we live in today, where we have these boxes on our desks and these rectangles in our pockets, and instead we take that whole layer of digital information and very elegantly layer it on top of the world and really turn the whole world into your desktop background. And things are inherently, as a human, in the real world 3D, and that's exactly what we're doing here is everything is 3D and things work the way your brain expects them to work. You simply just reach out, you grab something, you can move it, you can rotate it, and it works like a real object would work. Can you talk about the software that the hardware uses to make that a reality? Sure. So uh, today, everything is built by us, the software, the meta operating environment, uh, and there's a very tight hardware and software integration because we're building both. Uh, what we're doing now is opening this up to developers. So it's built on Unity, and anybody that uses Unity can very easily port over existing applications or build new ones with our SDK, which is fully integrated into Unity. So very easy to develop for and make your augmented reality dreams come true. Now, augmented reality is basically is it's, it's coming to the forefront now because VR is in the spotlight currently, but there's so much more uses for augmented reality as opposed to VR. Yeah, that's right. This is not just about entertainment. This is about changing the way that we learn, uh, learning faster, learning better, retaining more information. Imagine human anatomy. It's something that's very hard to learn from a textbook, but you take something like this, and now you can actually see that body in front of you, break it out, see any system of the body you want to in a way that's never been possible for medical uses, for education, for enterprise, for productivity, for entertainment. Imagine being able to transport your favorite comedian right to your living room and have him standing there in front of you doing a stand-up routine and it looks like he's really there and you get this sense of presence. This is the kind of fantasy that is something we can make real now. And it's not just about fun and games, it's about real, true usefulness. And ultimately, this is what's gonna replace your cell phone, your computer, your tablet, all of the things with screens today. Now the, proto now, the prototype I had in there was wired. Is the final device also wired or wireless? Yeah, so Meta 2 is a wired device. This is a development kit. We expect tens of thousands of developers this year to create incredible applications that will pave the way towards a consumer version eventually within the next few years, prosumer first. And, you know, our CEO, we're not making any extra product announcements right now, but our CEO said on stage at TED, uh, Mayron, that within five or so years, this thing's gonna be a strip of glass on our head. So we have a very cool plan of actually how to get there. It's not just a pipe dream. Can you talk about the, the implications to education and, and, and entertainment? Sure, so uh, when it comes to entertainment, imagine today being able to already replace every TV in your house, your office, anywhere in the world, just put as many of them as you want, anywhere you want, super high res, incredible image fidelity, um, and not just flat screens, but you know, 3D, if you wanna watch a 3D movie, you could do that and everything would pop out just like you're in a 3D movie theater. Uh, if you want to have this experience where you know, your favorite band is playing at a party at your house and all of you and your friends are wearing you know, the glasses, you can all see and experience this together. Uh, if you are talking about education, being able to look at all the greatest works of art in the world and be able to see all of those. For me, I remember learning about the Mona Lisa in a textbook and I thought it was huge. And then when I saw it in person, it was tiny. I never had a way of knowing this. And most people don't know these kinds of things. So for art history, being able to just show you all the greatest works of art right on a wall in front of you in actual size and all the greatest statues and be able to walk around and see them, it's opening up the world of information that we have and showing it to you in a way that's very human and easy to understand and what we're really about as a company is not just building great augmented reality hardware and great software and having the tight integration from a higher level it's about shifting that computing paradigm getting rid of the distractions that suck you into this sort of you know digital world that closes you off and distracts us from this human connection with each other and instead it's about having a deeper connection than ever before and about really truly enhancing your human experience not just gamifying it so if people want to find out more information about the SDK, where would they go? Uh, metavision.com. And that's where you can pre-order as well. It's only $9.49. It's going to ship in Q3. And uh, we're really, really excited to see what incredible sorts of things people create with this.